Hey guys, um, so I'm in my bathroom right now and it is like 5 o'clock or something and I have finally come to the conclusion of what I want to do with my hair. So it took a lot of time for me to decide because, you know, your hair is your hair. Like, you're going to be wearing it every single day and it's, I don't know, but <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that, but I decided that I'm going to do ombre hair. So I am going to be doing my hair at home and I'm kind of freaking out just because um, I'm just scared that I'm going to mess up. But I don't think I will because, um, knock on wood, um, so I'm going to be doing two different things. So first off, I'm going to dye the top of my hair brown, but um, only a little bit, only like to here. But I'm not going to do it like perfectly straight, that would, honest, that would obviously look really bad. But I'm going to like just get rid of all these random little highlights and just kind of, um, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I know what I'm going to do. So, yeah, I'm going to like dye my hair like the same color as my natural hair, like to here. And then I guess I'm just going to um, put some bleach, like bleach my hair at the ends. And then I'm going to wait a little bit and then just put it a little bit higher and then wait a little bit, and then I'm going to take it out, so it's going to be kind of lighter here, and then a little bit lighter, and then it's going to be the sturdy blonde color, and then it's going to be brown. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be dying. I'm going to do that all in one day. I don't know when I'm going to do it. I really want to do it tomorrow, but um, I'm probably not going to end up doing it tomorrow. I just, I really wish I could. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I mean, if I do end up doing it tomorrow, then I'll for sure vlog about it, but that's what I'm doing, and I'm, I'm just freaking out, but I'm really excited because... I can already kind of picture how I'm going to look since my hair is already dark here. Just imagine a little bit lower and a little bit lighter. It's going to look great. Earlier today I uploaded a video that was called 2011 and I just basically included a bunch of photos of just like me and my family and my friends and stuff like that and I just kind of put a song to it and made like a slideshow. And I was super excited to show you guys because I thought like, oh I never really show you guys like the other part of my life, like all my friends and stuff like that. And I never really like talk about that or like include that in there. But yeah, I guess I can't just because some people were just taking things way too seriously with that video and I was getting a lot of hate on it. So I had to delete it, which kind of stinks because um, I thought it was a cute video and I was really kind of like excited to show you guys like that other part of my life. But um, I don't know, I guess I learned my lesson, and I probably won't do that again, I don't know, but, um, yeah, so that's to answer your questions, if anybody was wondering, um, why I had to delete the video, so I'm sorry if you didn't get to see it, and if you wanted to, but I already deleted it, so I'm not gonna, like, upload it again or anything and go through all that, so, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Oh, also, okay, so yesterday... I went to the container store with my dad and we bought some stuff um, for my closet because I'm kind of changing up my closets a little bit. Not too much, but just a little bit. And um, my dad is picking up the stuff today, so I'm excited for that. And it was probably the most stressful thing ever. Like, I love the container store. I love stores like that. But, like, it was so stressful just because... Like, we were trying to get, like, these baskets, but my closet, my closet space is just so small. Like, it's, everything has to be cut, like, personally cut to, like, fit my closets and, like, none of the cool stuff, like, all the baskets that pull out and all that cute stuff for organization, none of that fit in my closet, so I couldn't do any of that. And then we're, I don't know, it was just, it was really stressful. So, my dad is picking up the stuff today, and I'm really excited, and, um... Yeah. So earlier I finished editing my New York video. Finally, oh my goodness, I've had this footage for like two months and I just, I don't know why I never got around to editing it, but I finally did it today and I'm exporting the project right now. So do you guys remember that one really, really bright Victoria's Secret duffel bag that I had? It's all blue with bright colors and stuff like that. And yeah, I actually took it to New York with me. Well, today my mom bought me a new one and it was totally unexpected. Um, I never even asked for one, but she knew how much I thought the other one was so childish. So she got me this one, which is black and polka dots, and I was so surprised. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Mom. And the reason she got it is because it was on an amazing deal. Originally it was $60. There you go. 
and the price that she paid for was 30 so it was 50% off which is crazy um, in my opinion at least and it just looks like that I'm so excited it has kind of brown details randomly on the bag and I was really happy so thank you mom so my dad is on his way home from the container store so that means I have to take all this stuff out so he can you know put in the new shelves and stuff so yeah now I'm finally gonna have to go through the mystery boxes up there because I haven't gone through any of those in years and I have no idea what's up there so I'm finally gonna have to go through it all which kinda sucks because I really don't want to but yeah um I mean it's not too much clothes but yeah I have to take all this out and I will see you guys later yeah I just love when my room is so messy So as you guys can see, my room is still kind of messy from the whole closet thing, but um, at least all that stuff is out of here, like you guys saw just a second ago. But my closets are finally finished, and I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to save the best one for last. So first I'm going to show you guys the one that is on the right side. So this is the one that didn't have these thingies so that I can move everything around so my dad had to screw those in but it looks like this now it still looks kinda similar as before except now I have a whole different like system going on now um, so it just looks like that do to do and then up there I have some shirts that I don't really wear I've got my robe hanging on this side and then nothing here but yeah Right, so now I'm going to show you guys my most favorite closet, which is on the left side. And, alright, there's a pencil. You guys ready? Ah! Okay, so it's a little empty. And I'm sorry, this camera zooms really far up, so I can't really go back. But on the top, I just have two shelves. Skirts, and then just a bag. And I have jeans, jean shorts, and colored, je like, shorts. My plain v-necks and scoop neck shirts. Here I have all my dresses, and then at the bottom, this is my favorite part of the thing. I know I don't have a lot of shoes on my little racks right now, um, just because a lot of them are downstairs, but also um, as I kind of, my collection grows, I will have a bunch of room for, you know, more shoes and stuff, so I'm excited for that. So, <clears throat> I just, as you can see, we had to add another thing down here so that I could have lower shelves. So I have... You know, my boots. I'm probably going to put my Uggs right there. I'm not really sure. Just some high heels and wedges here. I only have like two pairs of shoes. But yeah, I'm so excited. And then right here I have my little flip-flop organizer from thepeartree.com, I think. Definitely one of the best monies I've ever spent. It was so inexpensive. And it's just, it's seriously just like an amazing way to store your flip-flops. And then I just have my belt Older, right here so that is it for today's vlog I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you guys later bye